I'm Genevieve. I'm a paleoanthropologist and rock art researcher, and I'm back answering more questions for our Q&A series for Cave Art 101 with World of Paleoanthropology. Thank you again for all the wonderful questions that keep coming in. My next question I'm gonna answer is for Adam, and Adam wanted to know what are the known percentages, if there are, of paintings made by children, women, men, basically who were the artists, which is a fantastic question. Now, for some weird reason, traditionally, it's been male artists have been depicted as being the ones doing this, which doesn't really make any sense because, I mean, art ability is not gendered, right? Like we've got, I know amazing male and female artists in the modern world, and I'm sure it was the same division back then. Um, and full disclosure, I cannot draw bison to save my life, which is why I studied geometric science, because everybody can draw a triangle. But I have huge admiration for people who can do amazing art. Um, and that's why I like to study it. But so really great question. Obviously it's hard to get at because I mean, with a lot of this art, we, you know, it's, it's fairly gender neutral, right? Like we know bison, male or female artists, anybody could be doing it, right? But there's been a couple cool techniques and studies that have been done in recent years, which have tried to get it at least a little bit. So the, probably the biggest one was done was using the hands on the walls. And in this case, what they're looking at is they're using biology and trying to kind of guess from there. So with female hands, just in general, there is still variation, but overall female hands tend to have an index and a ring finger that are about the same height on the hands. Whereas male hands tend to have a longer ring finger. So now we all have to go look at your hands. Uh, but so what we, could see, or at least what these, these researchers could see at some sites, they used three caves, one in Spain, two in France, and they looked at caves with lots of handprints, and then they looked to see if they could figure out that ratio on the cave wall. And what they found in those three caves anyways, was that it, based on that, that sort of measurement, approximately 75% of the hands were female. Um, now, some people have argued back that they could also be adolescents, male or female adolescents, somewhere like teenagers or younger members of the tribe. Um, maybe, you know, these ring finger wasn't as distinctive in that particular genetic group, we don't know. So there's a bit of pushback, but it's a cool idea for sure. Um, obviously, at caves where we have children's handprints on the wall, they're so small, we know, right? Um, I have seen all the way down to like literally infant prints and like toddler prints, which is super cute. Uh, and some of them are really high up too. So again, we know somebody had to lift them up and I doubt a toddler or a four-year-old was able to blow paint around their own hand. So probably it was a group effort. I'm imagining a wiggly toddler with somebody else doing the blowing while somebody held. Um, but I mean, it's such a wonderful way to kind of get at the individual inside the caves. And I, I kind of love those moments of seeing hands of different sizes all together, because um, it really does give you a sense of maybe this was some sort of wall that belonged to the tribe or, I mean, who knows, but it's, it's, it's lovely to see and it kind of makes you feel like you're almost connecting with individual artists. Um, the only other study so far that's kind of dug into this a little bit is that there are some caves in, in Europe anyways, where we've got finger flutings or meanders that are sort of like where they take their fingers and drag them through the soft, the soft sediments on the walls, like clay, mon milch, that kind of thing. And there's some caves where the finger flutings are really narrow and quite small. So that's why they think they might've been children. And they're sort of adjacent to like some really beautiful panels. So the question has been, well, maybe this is where the kids went and played while the grown-ups did like the serious art. So um, that's kind of a fun one as well to think that maybe kids were, were doodling basically in the caves while the grown-ups did like the serious stuff or maybe they were learning, apprenticing. Um, so lots of, again, just little bits of humanity I think come through with this. In the long run, something, I mean really, if we truly want to know the identity of an artist, what we're really gonna need to do in the long run, and I mean, this is something that's in progress, we're working on this, is if we can extract genetic material directly from some of the paintings, then we will know if it's male or female. Um, it doesn't help with the age, but we can certainly tell male versus female. So I'm hopeful that as we develop new techniques in the future, we may actually be able to start getting at the identity of individual artists. I mean, it'd be incredible to actually meet an artist for the first time, wouldn't it? So thanks for the great question, Adam.